hello there everybody it is a summer girl and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a reboot re of my sims 3 generations and university lp so i actually uploaded um part one of this lp um i think like last year and um i uploaded a few parts but honestly like i really lost interest in the sims and the characters and um my game was glitching a lot and every time i'd go and um film a part it would crash on me so like the footage wasn't usable so i honestly just got tired of it um so i cleaned up my game i got all of the bad um custom contents out um i've run through this game and played with them a little bit um just like turning the game on you know um doing kind of like things that require a lot of like power for the game and it's not crashing anymore, so I decided to do a reboot of this series. I really liked the concept of the university and the generations, um, so I went ahead and made a brand new family. I will link down below the Create a Sim video that I uploaded of me creating them. Um, so I'm really excited for this. Actually, I really, I really, really love these Sims. Um, like, I absolutely love them. I think um, the route that I'm going to take with, with each of them is really interesting. I really like it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to jump right into The Sims and um, show you guys their personality. So, starting off, this is Ilya Lockhart. She is a cancer. Her favorite music is R&B. Her favorite, her favorite food is falafel. And her favorite color is pink. She is a perfectionist, she's family-oriented, charismatic, a dog person, and friendly. Her lifetime wish is to um, reach level 10 in the medical career track. And um, so this sim is the one that I'm going to um, be sending off to university, or at least the community university. And she's going to be getting a degree, um, a medical degree, so she can um, have an advantage um, when she finally joins the medical career track. So as of right now, she's unemployed, but I'm about to um, actually have her go enroll in university. Um, but yeah, so that's Ilya. Moving on to her boyfriend. This is Darius Lawton. Let me just unpause him so you guys can get a better look at him. There we go. So this is Darius Lawton. Um, he is a Capricorn. His favorite music is pop. His favorite food is peanut butter and jelly, and his favorite color is yellow. He is adventurous, he has a good sense of humor, he's excitable, he's also family oriented, and he is a bookworm. So I really wanted him to be, um, well both of them actually, to be family oriented um, for the generations part of this LP. So um, neither of them have the lifetime wish of, um, um, of like the surrounded by family, like have five kids. Um, and actually his is missing, which I'm not really sure why so i'm gonna have to go in and fix that but his lifetime wish is to um see site see sight savior and that is to reach um or to save 50 people um on duty like while he's on duty as a lifeguard so i'm gonna go in and actually add that in because it um i guess it's dis disappeared i'm not really sure why so i'm gonna do that really quickly and i'll be right back all right, so I went ahead and added back in um, Darius's lifetime wish. So in this part, I'm going to actually, actually right now, I'm going to have him go, um, have him stop doing that. I'm going to have him go, um, uh, you know, just not really enroll, but like go into the lifeguard career. So this is going to be a profession because it's more interactive. Um, but I can't remember, is it City Hall we have to go? yeah so we're gonna have him go join a lifeguard profession and as for Ilya we are going to have her um, enroll in university so um, I do want her to take the aptitude test first um, like from university so we can know if she's gonna get a scholarship because um, she actually has a pretty high level in the science skill which is what you need for them for the science um university degree so hopefully through that we'll be able to get a pretty good um scholarship so the university mascot already came um when i was putting them down in the town he came right away so i guess he didn't leave the aptitude test because i don't see it and it's not in any of their inventories 
So, um, I'm probably just gonna have to put it down. Yeah, I know you can buy it somewhere, but the problem is I don't know where it is. I'm probably gonna have to look it up because I just, off the top of my head, I'm not sure where they keep it. Um, is that outdoor activities? I don't, I doubt it, but you never know. Um, alright you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and find that and I'll be right back. Alright you guys, so I found it. I had to Google it. Um, we're gonna turn this down. Just turn the volume down. Um, so we're actually gonna have her go right ahead and, oops, that's, that's not who I wanted. <laughs> um, okay, so for... So CPR Dummy Lifeguard Weekly Stipend, 276 simoleons, and he works Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So we actually have quite a few days off. That's good. I really, really like that. Um, so we'll go ahead and, ex and uh, make Darius accept that. And then we'll have Ilya over here go and take the university um, aptitude test, and we'll see if we can get a scholarship. So Darius is now part of a class of heroes. No, there are no powers involved, but the job of saving lives makes one a hero. Go to the beach and look out for Sims in need and keep the beaches safe. Darius now makes 276 simoleons per week and works from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So let's see. He, I can't even remember what day he works. So he works, um, today's Sunday, so he works tomorrow, so that's really excited. I'm really excited, that's really exciting. I'm excited to do that. Um, so I'll put that down because I think it counts. I think we'll get the lifetime happiness points if she enrolls even here. So I'll actually go ahead and show you guys where the university is. Um, so it's up here. Ooh, okay. So we didn't get a scholarship award. No, um show oh, no Ilya Lockhart should consider improving her skills and career progress to earn a university scholarship mm. okay um so we're not gonna do that no I'm really disappointed I thought she'd have enough but it's fine we'll just go ahead and have her go enroll um so we'll have her go to the um administration administration center and go enroll in university so, i'm so excited i cannot wait to actually like finish a university degree like in the sims like i haven't i haven't finished a degree like i haven't even like completed a profession so there's a lot of things that we're going to be doing in this lp and i'm really really excited um so i'm actually not quite sure when i'm going to be kind of like integrating the generations part of this lp um in before i like in the other of oh, the beginning of this lp i was just gonna wait until um isla in that um in that uh, before the reboot um i was just gonna wait until she finished university but i think i'm not gonna do the same with Ilya and darius i think i'm gonna have um Ilya probably finish like at least like a few credits and then um have them start trying to have a baby um because even though they are young adults like this on this time is going to go flying so um you know i want them to have all the kids that they want um preferably you know before they they reach like the middle of their adult uh life um okay so we're gonna do um science and medicine um so we have 18 to 48 credits so let's do this so it'd be 3450 simoleons if we do the whole thing and we have 3,782 so we'd literally be left with absolutely nothing um oh you guys I don't know what to do should I just have her go like, like I don't know you know what I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it um Darius is gonna start working and he's gonna be making um enough money to you know um to provide for the both of us or both of them um Oh my god, you guys, I'm excited. So her class schedule is, um, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, she has, um, so she has three classes on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and one class on Thursday. So she's pretty, pretty booked, actually. And then her finals are on the Friday. So she has 12 days until finals. Um, but yeah, so her, I think what she gets from university is, yeah, she gets the, um, the skeleton so I'm gonna have her actually that I'm gonna move that a bit 
I'll probably put it in here. Um, I'll move that right there and put Mr. Bones right here should be fine. If I move this into the kitchen, oh my god, we literally don't have room for anything in here. Um, and maybe move the toys in here as well. Like that, yeah, I feel like that could work. Um... Mm. yeah I'll, ha I'll move him right there perfect oh that's really exciting so i'm gonna have her come back um she has a bunch of stuff in here which i'll sort a little later mm. but she doesn't have any books in here that's weird she'll probably get them when she starts but yeah okay oh no he i feel bad for theo he doesn't really have like a lot of space to run around in that's kind of annoying no, because, uh, like, our backyard is non-existent, so, and the front yard is <laughs> barely existent, so, um, we do have downstairs, downstairs, downstairs neighbors, though, downstairs neighbors, I don't even know if that's, like, correct, um, block, okay, but, like, that's, like, his house, so that one's, so does, like, nobody else live here, or what? Oh, I guess we're the only ones. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> um, so let's just go through what they have. So learn science skill. I don't really think he'll need it for... Yeah, no, just athletic and charisma. So we actually won't do that. We'll finish a book, though, because... Um, we'll have him talk about his new job to um, Ilya. What I'm going to have him do is... Um, go here and have him read... Oh, it's not even here. Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Because we're literally broke. Oh, you can't even sell these? What a joke. Wow, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. And we're gonna have him... We're gonna, we need to have him, you know, buy a book. So we're going to have him go to the bookstore and get a charisma book so he can start, you know, building that skill and it'll help him a lot for his career. So this is the bookstore, perfect. So we're gonna go shop for books. While he is doing that, we'll probably have Ilya, you know, go out, maybe meet some people. Um, I think that would be good. Probably take Theo to the park. Um, so let's see, actually, her skills, she needs to improve. Um, so gardening and fishing. I'm probably just gonna focus on the science skill, I mean, the gardening and fishing would probably help but like literally we have nowhere to garden we don't have a boat to fish like it's just gonna it's gonna be trash so what we're gonna do is we're going to um reinforcement school for being adventurous no no it's fine we won't we won't do anything to him. um okay so let's see skill we are going to um improve his Oh, it's 500 simoleons. We don't have enough. No. Oh, wait, it's volume two. Volume two. Oh, that's 350. And we cannot afford that either. Okay. So that's not going to do. We're going to have to sell something. But, um, crap. Whatever. Okay. No, we're going to. Oh, my gosh. She's literally neurotic. Okay, we are going to have her. We're gonna go for a walk to, I don't know where any of these places are and I don't really want them to be too far away. So, um, we'll probably walk to, maybe not Netherby, that's a little too close. Um, what's this, community lot, no. I guess we can walk here, St. Clair Central Park. Oh, that's far. Darn it, that's really far. You know what? We're going to visit St. Clair Central Park with Theo. So probably taxi there and then um, we'll bring him and take him on a walk. And we'll probably walk back. So that's probably what we're going to do. Um, so have her, to have her meet some people. And I'll actually go ahead and have um, Darius meet us there as well. So I don't know if he can work at like any beach. This would probably be easier just because he can just drive over here. Um, and I do actually think it's the only beach that we can go to. So, I mean, I guess we don't really have an option. Um, let's see. 
yeah, I'm really seeing as it like the only beach. So I guess that's the beach we're going to be working at. Oh, there's more over here. Um, I'm pro whoa, guys, look at this house. Jeez, is that a okay? It's like loading, it's taking forever. But this is a nice house. I wonder who lives here. Oh, nobody lives here, I don't think. Yeah, nobody lives here. Wow. That looks really nice. Cool. Anyway, sorry. Just my ADD, you know, coming out. Um, I am probably just going to have him go to the one nearest to him. I mean, there's really no point in having him go anywhere else. Um, so tomorrow, when 10 o'clock rolls around, we'll probably head over to this beach. Um, and yeah, start our career. So I think Ilya is... Oops, no, no, no. Darn it, that's not what I meant to do. Don't tell me she didn't bring... She didn't bring him. I'm so pissed off right now. Why didn't she... Oh, look at him. Look at him, guys. Oh my god, he is the cutest. No, you guys, I'm so mad. Okay, we're gonna come. And we are going to... Okay, now we're going to go to the park that she's at. We're going to visit Central. Oh, my God, no. She's going to have to go back home. I'm sending her back home. I cannot believe she even went there without without Theo. I'm really upset. But whatever. <laughs> we'll have Darius head there now. Um, so there's probably nobody here, but we'll have a look. Maybe we'll go to, like, a cafe or something if we can't find anybody here. We need to try to make friends and there's literally nobody here love that it's a beautiful park though very very pretty so i also want to get them engaged like really like soon not really quickly but i do want to um you know have them go ahead and get engaged um you know have their whole wedding it's gonna be really pretty i have this really nice venue um it's really big like there's a lot of seating and we definitely don't like we don't know anybody so it's gonna be kind of pretty empty when we when they do get married but um, I really want to throw it there. It's very, very pretty. Where is he? Like, okay, he's here now, but he was, like, at a club or something. What are you doing, dude? We're not going to buy that. We're broke. We're not going to have a drink. We're broke. So, literally, nobody's here. So, you know what? We will probably have him just go ahead and go to wherever he was. Where was he here? You know what let's actually see if anybody's there because i'm not gonna come like make him come all the way here and like watch like nobody be even be here okay we're gonna go ahead and open it because i cannot okay is it up or down i don't Okay, there we go. So this place is dead. There's nobody here, so we're not going to come here. Absolutely not. Um, so he seems to have found somebody. Ismael. Ismael. I don't know how to say this in English. I don't know how to say it in Spanish, but not English. Um, okay, I think we can do it a little better. You know, maybe someone a little, a little younger. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm probably just going to have her leave the dog home like a no reason but why is he begging whatever it's fine um oh my god he's probably hungry that is probably what's going on yeah okay we're gonna have Ilya. yeah we're gonna have Ilya um fill his dog bowl what the heck is going on oh my god guys my game is like why is my game glitching? I don't understand. What the heck? It's like... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so she did fill it up because he's eating now. Um, But why isn't any of this like... What? Oh, you know what? Because I think because I opened this. Yeah, okay, we're going to have to go ahead and close that. So then this can start working. There we go. I was like, why isn't any of this working, guys? Um, okay, so 
But it's, actually, you know what? It's still early. I was about to say, like, this whole thing was a bust. But, you know, what? I'm going to have him go eat that. And then we're going to go out with Ilya. Um, okay, Black Fox is dead. Um, so while they eat, I'm going to, like, go around looking for, like, a good place to go to. Because literally all of this, like, looks dead. Um, I mean, it is a Sunday night. But, I mean, still, like, there has to be some people here. Let's see. Oh, okay. The Brickworks Club. Okay, but what is this? This doesn't look like a club or anything. Oh, it's a country club. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. No, not really what I'm looking for. Um, this is hardcore. Okay, what about here? What? Oh my god, guys. I was so confused. I was like, it's just like a courtyard, but... No, okay. I'm right here. No, dude, what? Okay. Like, that looks like that was a bust. Um, okay, black box? No. What about Dancing with the Stars? What? What is that? That looks kind of interesting. I don't know. Dancing with the Stars, right here? Where was that? Oh my god, you guys. Literally getting lost. My forte. Okay, it's right here. Let's see. Okay, honestly, just because it's not opening up, I probably don't think anybody's there. Um, let's see. Let's look at the concrete club. Let's see if anybody is here. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have to go ahead and open it. Um, and I will make sure to close it. <laughs> Literally, it's already nine. What the heck, you guys? Literally just trying to oh, it's underground. Okay, this is kind of cool. I like this place. What? It hasn't even loaded, but I can tell that it's kind of nice because of like the seats and stuff. Oh, okay, not the color I would have chosen, but yeah, no, this place is dead too. All right, whatever. I'm. I don't think we're gonna find anywhere open on a on a club privé. Oh my god, you guys, Kate. So <laughs> I'm from Canada, and I went to Montreal last year, and there was a club that like literally called Club Privé, and that just brought back like the funniest memories. Oh my god, I can't. Um, but anyway, now I can't even remember where we were. Were we here? Is this where we went? No. Shoot, where was it? Oh, Concrete Club was right here. <laughs> no, what the heck? Why isn't it letting me... Was it here? No, I didn't go here. I would've... You guys, what the heck? <laughs> was it here? Oh my god. Last controller. Oh, but... Oh no, okay. It's whatever this is. What is this place? The concrete club. Okay, like I'm so confused. How do I close it? There we go. Okay, close. All right, so I'm gonna jump back over to um, Darius and Ilya. So yeah, he's about to pass out. Um, so he ate. Um, Ilya did too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. If it'll let me. Why is it not letting me put it away? Oh my. Okay. I'm gonna have him put away the leftovers, even though he's literally about to go to bed. Oh, you know what? That would make sense. I was like, why is she complaining? Duh. That would make a lot of sense. Um, this, this place is so small. My goodness. Okay. We'll have her go pee. Um, where's Theo? Oh, Theo's asleep. Look at him. <gasps> Look at him, you guys. He's so cute. Oh my god, I love this dog. I love this dog so much. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Alrighty, so. Oh, I just realized the tattoo that I picked for him <laughs> literally has a tramp stamp. <laughs> Oh my god. So I have like a bunch of these like packs like for tattoos and I didn't even notice that it has a tramp stamp. Honestly, I'm not gonna change it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Whatever. 
Um, just so you know what you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and um, just skip to to the next day. Um, Layton is, or Layton, she says, Darius is going to start his first day as a lifeguard, so that's really exciting. Um, and Ilya will be going to university, so I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so both of them are awake, so probably gonna have Darius go ahead and make some breakfast. Um, yeah, oh, they're actually, I think they were just gonna talk. Oh, make bed, nope. <laughs> so she's gonna have to attend class, so I'm just gonna have her go. Um, she's probably starving, but I'll probably just have her get something at the university, um, because there's like a little cafe there. Um, so yeah, Theo. Theo's hungry, so I'm probably just gonna have him eat. Um, and then um, probably have him go outside and just like run around a bit. I don't know. I feel kind of bad. I'll probably have Darius take him out somewhere before he has to go to work, but it also depends what time he finishes making. Yeah, no, three hours. We're not gonna have enough time to do anything with that. By the time he finishes eating, it's gonna be like an hour before he has to go. So that's great. Love that. Um, I really don't know where he's, <laughs> where he's supposed to work. Like, I genuinely don't know, but we'll figure it out. I mean, it's whatever. Get Theo over here eating. What is going on? Are you kidding me? Like, just move it. No. Continue cooking. My god. Sometimes, like, like, a very few of my sims, like, like, they just give up with any freaking, like, <laughs> like any sort of issue they just give up they just shut down and i'm like dude like just go around it but whatever also i think i'm probably gonna have to move this because this is really close to the fridge i just realized um but that means i'm gonna have to move the pillows as well which is fine move that so when i when i got the place i realize now why they had it in <laughs> Uh, set up the way they did so they had like the couch facing this way um and the tv was like diagonal um so that actually makes a lot of sense because it doesn't really block the um uh the fridge so i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of change it back to that and they still have room to walk so probably just move that in here a little bit um Perfect. Honestly, this apartment's really small, um, but they're literally broke, so we're not. We're going to be staying here for a little bit. Um, one thing that I have noticed, though, is that there's not a lot of houses um, in St. Clair. Like, it's mostly just apartments, and honestly, if I would have known that, I probably wouldn't have had them move in. Um, and I'm pretty sure, like, most of the houses that, like, are here, like, they're pretty much taken. Um so yeah that's kind of great even over here like it's a lot of apartments and not houses um so i'm probably gonna have to put down a lot of um like a lot of houses um i have a bunch that are just like custom content filled and whatnot so i'll probably have to do that i'll probably end up moving them in one of that one of a one like house like that um in one of the houses that i have so are you kidding me? He literally has to go soon and he, he hasn't even had breakfast. Oh my god. Okay, so Ilya's at work, so we're gonna or at work at school, so we're gonna have her work hard. Um we'll probably have her meet a rebel, but um I'll probably you know what, I'll probably just I'm just gonna let it go because I don't wanna um cancel any of these ones. Um so he's just gonna have to go soon. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Why didn't he sit down? Is this, like, not usable? Are you kidding me? If this table doesn't function and they're gonna have to eat, like, I'm gonna have to find another place because this is awful. If they can't even sit down, then what's the point of having a table in the first place? Yeah, okay, so why didn't he sit down? My boy Darius, are you just very problematic? I'm thinking... I'm thinking we have a problematic sim on our hands, you guys. Like, oh my goodness. What is Theo barking at? Follow... Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so she wants to go to France. So I think I'm probably going to have to lock that in because I think that's where I want to send them on their honeymoon. So I'm going to take out, be friends with someone. I mean, whatever. We'll do that anyway. We don't need a lifetime wish or for that. 
Um, so she's super stressed and hungry, so I'm probably gonna have her um, fix that really quickly. Um, as for him, he has to go to work. Okay, so we're gonna go perform the job. He is gonna stink, but that's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna have to change that uniform because that is definitely not what no Let's see if I can get rid of this gnome. Okay, 35 simoleons. I will take it. It's fine um, I'm gonna jump on over to Ilya Make sure she's grabbing something to eat Oh, there's nobody here Oh no, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go in and edit this because this is supposed to be like an actual like cafe thing so I'm gonna have to go in and change that, but that's fine. Whatever. Um, she, I don't even think she got to drink that. No. Wow. Okay. Jumping back over to Darius. Um, so automatic. Choose the chooses the most efficient speed based on distance of travel. So survey. He's taking a cab. So I'll have him hurry that up. And oh no, which one did he go to? He, of course, oh my god. So it looks like this is the one that we're gonna have to work at. This is just not an option. Um, so that's kind of crappy, but I mean, it's fine. Um, don't they even have like a lifeguard? I'm really gonna have to edit this town, jeez. <laughs> yeah, there's, honey, there, there's, there's nobody here. There's absolutely nobody. Oh, that's too funny. Um, so I'll probably just survey. I mean, there's really not much we can do except wait <laughs> if anybody shows up. <laughs> um, let me know down below what you guys think. Um, I don't know if I should move them to more of a like beachy or like maybe an island. Um, because for Ilya, all I really need is a big enough lot um, to put uh, the university down. And obviously, there's a hospital in every town. So for her, it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just thinking that because, like, <laughs> Darius's job is the profession and the interactive career that we're going to be working with, we probably want, like, a bunch of, you know, people coming to the beaches and actually things to do. So let me know down below if you guys think I should just um, move them to a different city or a different town, um, probably with like bigger and better beaches. So let me know down below if you guys um, want me to do that. Um, so what's this? Perform the ink blot test five times. So I'll probably do that. It'll probably, what are you doing? Don't you have to go to class? No, oh my God, go to class. What is going on? No. Go to class. Um, so literally, this is going to be pretty boring. <laughs> oh, you guys. I really should have thought this through. Um, so you know what, you guys? I'm actually going to go ahead and end this part here. Let me know down below what you guys think I should do, if I should keep them here or move them to a another town slash city. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first part. I know it was a little bit, you know, it was the first part, first parts are usually kind of like a little bit boring. You're kind of just like settling them, the Sims into their new life. Um, but yeah, so comment down below, um, any video requests that you guys want me to do. And, um, like I said, um, give me your input about what I should do with these Sims and if I should move them or not. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye guys.